going to talk about the heat index. Yeah. Okay. So the heat index, we talk about it so often this time of the year, and that's actually the temperature that your body feels. And this is why it's a big factor this time of the year. Okay. Let's talk about how we naturally cool off. Our bodies like to stay near 98.6 degrees. So when the temperature of our body rises, because say it's hot outside or maybe you're exercising, sweat is released from our skin and this sweat that evaporates that water from the sweat that evaporates works as a natural cooling mechanism. Okay, so that's what naturally happens. But think about our air. Whenever there's a lot of humidity in our air, our air is oversaturated. It's going to be really difficult for that water on your skin to evaporate. So the higher the humidity, the harder it is for your body to naturally cool down, which is why a heat index is very important to pay attention to this time of the year, especially if you are outside for long periods of time or if you are planning on exercising outside as well. And the heat index is specifically calculated for humans. However, pets, other animals also feel the heat uh, in a ramped up way. So definitely something to, to think about. I know Adia was just talking about the travel forecast. We're gonna get into the travel forecast if you're road tripping around Texas coming up in a few moments, Mark.